We can hardly imagine life today without automobiles. We depend on this incredible invention to make long journeys quickly and comfortably. The first theoretical plans for a motor vehicle were by Leonardo da Vinci. The first automobile was a steam-powered transport invented in 1769 by a French engineer and mechanic named Nicolas Joseph. It was a carriage that carried up to four people at a speed of just over 3.2 kilometers per hour. It was used by the French army to haul artillery. The next step in automobile design happened in the 1830s. The Scotsman's Robert Anderson developed the first electric cars powered by rechargeable batteries. Besides being slow and expensive, these early electric vehicles had to stop frequently to recharge the batteries. The automobile as we know today emerged during the Victorian era. The Germans Gottlieb Daimler and Karl Benz invented the first practical gasoline-powered vehicles. The first one was built in 1885 by the company Benz & C, which later became the famous Mercedes-Benz. The company's owner, Karl Benz, obtained a patent for his first engine in 1879. This enabled the development of the first vehicle, the Benz Patent Motorwagen. It was built in 1885, and a patent for the invention was obtained in 1886. In 1893, 25 cars were sold. Karl Benz was a German engineer designer and automotive engineer. His new motor vehicle is considered the first practical automobile and the first car to be mass-produced. The Benz C Company, based in Mannheim, Germany, was the first automobile factory in the world and the largest at the time. Benz is widely regarded as the father of the car and the father of the automobile industry. Although the early cars look almost nothing like modern machines, their basic design is still strikingly similar. Cars of old and today have an engine that runs on fuel, steering, and braking mechanisms. They are all attached to a chassis with seats and a fuel tank. Obviously, the automobile has evolved over the decades, but the essential elements are the same. In the early 1900s, gasoline-powered cars began to outsell all other motor vehicles. Despite the high cost, there was a great demand. Entrepreneurs quickly recognized the need to move into industrial and production and create more affordable alternatives. At that time, manufacturing the parts and assembling the cars was manual and almost handcrafted. Cars remained expensive and luxury objects until Henry Ford created the assembly line in 1913. Cars ceased to be handmade machines and became mass-produced transportation devices. With the advent of mass production, the cost of assembling a single car dropped so much that it became affordable for many families. Since then, cars have become ubiquitous in all developed nations and also in many less developed countries. The invention and popularization of the automobile has changed society in many countries in almost unimaginable ways. The automobile has made the mobile lifestyle possible. We can argue that the internal combustion engine and the automobile are among the most significant inventions in human history. The internal combustion engine revolutionized all forms of transportation used today.